Hello, I'm Patty Simpson with Simpson Math. Let's talk about probability. We see probability every day in our lives. We may not realize it, but we're dealing with that probability all the time. In fact, you'll see probability in the cost of different things like your insurance, your car insurance, or your house insurance. Um, when you buy a car or when you buy a house, your interest rate that you get from the bank is dependent upon probability. And in science every day in our lives and, and how doctors treat us and, and the different medicines we take is all based upon probability. So whether we know it or not, we're dealing with probability all the time. Your um, car insurance, where you live, helps to determine that cost because if you live in Podunk, Texas, where there's no cars around, it's less likely then that you're gonna be in an accident than if you live in a big city like Houston or Dallas. So you're gonna pay more for your car insurance in a place like Houston or Dallas than you might in Podunk, Texas. So, um, and then also your age group. So like my, I have two teenage boys that my insurance is gonna cost a lot because it's more likely that a teenage boy has an accident than an old lady. So your age and your gender makes a difference in how much you're paying for um, your car insurance. And all that's based upon probability. So you may not know it, but you're dealing with that probability um, all the time. And we're gonna be learning about probability here for a bit. Um, let me give you an example of a place where we saw probability fit into um, our everyday lives. So we had a life insurance on my mom for $10,000. And when my mom died, the insurance company gave my dad an option. They said, look, you can have a one-time payment of just $10,000, or instead what we'll do is we'll pay you $275 for the rest, a month, for the rest of your life. So we had to stop and think about, you know, why was the insurance doing that? What is it that is making them want to give him $275 for the rest of his life every month rather than the $10,000? And then we had to make a decision on which we were going to do. So let's just look and see when we were making our decision, why is it that the insurance company was wanting to give that $275 a month um, as, as compared to that $10,000 a month sum? So we looked at it and we saw how long would it take him to make $10,000? Well, if we did $275 a month for 10 months, he would make $2,750. Well, to make it to a year, then we need two more months. So then we said, well, let's do two more months of that. So do two more months of that, you get $10, 10, 14, 15, carry one, four, five, so 550. So if you want a full year, $275 for 10 months, plus $550 for two months, gives us one full year. So after a year, he would get a payment of $3,300. Well, so that means if I do that for three years, after three years, he would have $9,900. So after three years and a month, my dad would start making more than that $10,000. So we started asking ourselves, why do they want to give him a potential more than 10,000? Why would they give him that $275 a month, $275 a month? So we looked into it and it turns out that if your spouse dies, that the probability that you die then within um, three years is really high. And if you think about it, it makes sense because most of the time when your spouse dies, you're older. And so therefore you're probably on the um, verge of death yourself. And so it would totally make sense then that within that three years, my dad would die as well. So us understanding probability completely we decided that dad wasn't gonna make it three more years. And instead of taking the, 10, 000, uh, the $275 a month for the rest of his life, we went ahead and took the um, straight up payment of $10,000, helped pay, pay for funeral costs and whatnot. 
Turns out the dad's lived more than three years. Huh? He, he beat the odds, who knew? So we could have made some money off of it, but using that probability that he should have died within three years, we just took that lump sum. So those are the types of decisions though that insurance companies and people have to make all the time based upon probability. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time learning about probability. Math made simple, it's some math. Thanks for watching.